Hi guys, welcome to this 100k solo nightfall guide. I'll be using the Voidwalker, uh, top tree, Slover, uh, Blink. I'll be using Is a Nagy's Burden. I always say that wrong. Is a Nagy's Burden, Subtle Calamity, Hammerhead. I'm using Luna Factions for that reload within the Rift. I've got Heavy Ammo Finder, Machine Gun Scavenger, and Machine Gun Reserves on my armor. 160 power handicap, which is achieved with Void Singe, Heavyweight, Momentum, and Match Game. So, kind of a normal setup without without the skull of Diorama Kara in view of Tuesday's changes. Now, I was remiss to take it off because it still works. And although I felt we needed change to to the exotic meta, I wasn't happy with the exotic support just being you get your super back. But I'm also kind of like, mm, they've changed it now, but there's there isn't a lot of variation really in the exotic armor. So hopefully we can see some really nice pieces coming in opulence. And who knows? You know, I'm I'm not I've heard a lot of people talk about the the weapons that are coming, the pinnacle weapons. I'm pretty sure people were talking about uh, the recluse was gonna be rubbish. Why would anybody want a multiplayer SMG? And it, for DPS, it's without doubt the best weapon in the game. F primary or energy, in my in my mind. You know, it's a it's a really really good piece of uh, weaponry. So I'm prepared to give them a chance, regardless of what the way people are interpreting it. I'll give them a chance because I've been proven wrong before. So as you can see, I try and take a lot of the enemies from range. That's kind of what Warden's Law is all about. Warden's Law, Warden of nothing. I, I'm saying Warden's Law because I did drop the Warden's Law at the end with feeding frenzy and rampage, or feeding frenzy and kill clip. I think. Pretty good roll. It's just a pity the gun's rubbish. Uh, so, is an army, is a Nagi's burden. The reason I've put the is a Nagi on is just to help with DPS, high DPS, because the hammerhead, although it, it kind of cuts through this strike really easily, uh, because of that uh, <laughs> balance that the check that they done. <laughs> I I don't like saying nerf, although it is a nerf. Uh, it does twenty percent less damage against bosses. So it kind of needs a hand with DPS, not not just on the boss, but to save ammunition to get to the boss. So that there's a Nagi can do about 115, 120,000 crit damage with the Honed Edge times four. That is not to be sniffed at for a primary. I was going to use the Outbreak Perfected now that I've got the, the full catalyst. Uh, but I, I feel that the, the Outbreak, while it being a superb weapon for a primary, it's 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 beastly for a primary. While it is a beastly primary, I feel it's it lives kind of in uh it lives in in a different place. I think it's more of a fire team melting boss with sustained sustained damage from in a rift. You could really do some really do some damage with that weapon. Especially if you've got the full catalyst. So because I've got Blink on, and I use Blink because the ads within Strikes like this, what they do is when you're moving to try and get, and it seems to be a big change. It has changed in in the last couple of weeks, I've noticed. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe I'm just thinking it's changed. What, it, what the ads do is, if you're moving at high speed just to try and get your health back or get past enemies, they lead you. They shoot where they think you're going you're gonna to land. So Blink throws that off. So now it's time to play chicken. There is a real hairy moment here. You'll see it right here. <laughs> uh, that makes me laugh. As you can see, if the trains do have a point where, where you can't, they can't actually damage you. And because I don't normally go that way, I, I ended up sparring too far. It's here you want to get off your sparrow. It worked out okay. Put out the wrong weapon, wanted my bow. And again, like most of the areas, you basically now take these ads from range. And when you get into the next area, you're going to do the exact same. You're going to take the first area from range, take take out the the, the Hydra with a, a honed edge shot to save heavy. Although, as you can see, for once in my life, I'm dropping heavy ammo like it's going out of fashion. There's no switch weapons on this. You don't have. I I could basically run through this 
with the hammerhead. My hammerhead, for anybody that's wondering, it's it's not it's not the best roll I could get. It's got rampage. I think it's got threat detector. I think it's got that. I don't know. I don't use it very often because when they nerfed all the machine guns, I just wanted the. Ha I spoke about it in a video, and it, I think it was after inverted spire where it just kind of ridiculously easily melted the boss. I was like, I'm getting sick of using this. I wanted them to nerf the Thunderlord. I would have been happy with that. But to do a nerf across the board, that is why people are so angry about these nerfs. If you think about it, in the last 12 to 12 to 16 weeks, they've not only nerfed Whisper, uh, what was it they just nerfed? The Whisper, uh, Lord of Wolves, what did they nerf? Whisper, Lord of Wolves, Ace of Spades, and, and, the, and the Sleeper Simulant. Why, why nerf the bounce on the sleeper? But they also nerfed machine guns. Across the board, they nerfed machine guns. They increased, they buffed, then nerfed during arc week. They nerfed the Warcliffe. And they've nerfed Not Forgotten and Luna. So it's not just four weapons that got nerfed. After the Go Fast update, when, when they said, no more nerfs, normally if a weapon overperformed, we'd hammer it back into the ground to be the same as everything else, but now we're going to increase everything. And then people are seeing, oh, you said you're going to do that, and now you've done this. That's not that's not what you said you were going to do. That was a year ago, and the game was in, in a bad state. So I can understand why they made, maybe, maybe made promises that they couldn't actually keep, just to better the game at that immediate point. So as you can see, I've come up here, I've cleared all the ads. The Minotaurs are the ones you want to get rid of first and then you focus on the elites. Nova bomb the boss and while this, don't shoot the boss before the Nova hits him because invariably you'll hit the Nova and it won't do the full damage to the boss. So let the Nova hit him, the, the main blast, and then start smashing. Make sure you collect your ammo, move on to the next section. So yeah, that's what I... That, I'm not. I've said before. I'm not happy with the whisper nerf. I understand why all the other nerfs were done. There's nothing really to replace the armor because the armor really is uninspiring. The armor in D2 is there's there's a couple of good pieces, and, and straight away, uh, Luna factions, uh, sc the insurmountable skull fort, celestial night hawk, things like that come to mind as being really good all round uh, exotics. But then you you've got to remember you've got stuff like the Machineer's trick sleeves, lucky pants. Why? You know, here I have another melee. I mean, you know, there, there is just not a lot of... This really is a unique piece of armor. You know? I used the Controverse Holds on a run on this just to test them. And it was... It was seriously... The, the great thing about the Controverse Holds is there is a chance that on hits, on kills with your grenade, and with the charge grenade, you stand a good chance to get kills. You'll get a random amount of grenade energy back. That random amount... One in every four or five times will be a full grenade. And it just increases its charge rate crazily. So if you're only going to get half, it just increases it really fast till you get half. But it just wasn't... Literally, there are mods that do that now. So I feel as if a lot of the exotics that we've got were built for a completely different game. A game of double primary, you know, double primary and a heavy. So let's hope when D3 comes out, or even Year 3, that they realise that the meta now is a, so diverse that they changed the meta, but we don't have, I don't think, map support. I don't think there's great map support for the meta we've got now. I don't think there's great exotic support for the meta we've got. I think the weapons are really uninspiring. If you look at how many heavy weapons, effective heavy weapons we've got, compared to... Everybody will remember that, that, that we used to have the, the, the Edge Transit debacle. And they actually had to bring Year 1 Legendaries into, into, the, into the drop pool because we didn't have enough heavies in there. There was like four or five because the game was never built to su support the meta we've got now because literally it was two energies and a heavy. Also, if you're going to take the Whisper, that's fine. Give us back with heavy sense. I'm going to keep saying it. Because the reason... Whisper's not a top 5 weapon. I've said that before. It's It really is only used for high-end content. Real high-end content. Not even high-end solo. Just high-end content. And not even all of it. 
But anything that involves a fight at the end, as opposed to melting the boss, if it involves a fight, because you can't reliably regenerate heavy. I've said this before. I'm going to keep saying it. Not to you guys. I'll keep saying it on Twitter. I'll keep, you know, I must have tagged DMG, I don't know how many times on Twitter, uh, for no some kind of verification or uh, uh, plan on when we were going to get infamy bonuses because i felt with it being season of the drifter and we were like two or three weeks out from the end we'd never had double infamy in season of the drifter the whole point of the season was to play gambit yet we never got any xp boosts and then the last four weeks we get two we get triple this week and we got double two weeks ago i think two or three weeks ago and it was literally the week after I posted. I must have tagged. I don't know how many times I tagged them. Anyway. I th- I, I, I think that... Uh, I'm going to keep pushing the agenda of heavy ammo synth. Because until they make a heavy that can generate its own heavy. Or, you know, have some way that we can repeatably drop heavy. I'm not saying let's just run through everything with constant heavy. But you can't plan for heavy. So there's no strategy involved. You just literally have to... I've got 20 rounds and that's it. I have to drop heavy. Have you dropped any? No. Uh, this run could be over. Because especially for timed events. Like Zero Hour. Whisper. Anyway. So as you can see when I came in here, I tried to keep my distance and clear these areas. Now, once you clear the areas, before you get... when the, When the Scorch Cannon comes... What I do when the Scorch Cannon comes is I run over to where B C is going to be and I try and detonate any proximity mines, those slow mines. I try and detonate them so that when I'm going over there, I'm not going to get caught out in the middle of a gun battle with a Minotaur. So once I've done that, as you can see, I've seen I've got heavy. I am dropping a lot of heavy in this run and I hope, because I've noticed over the last couple of days that heavy's dropping I don't know if it's me, I don't know what it is, but the heavy seems to be dropping more frequently. So I'm I'm trying to conserve heavy. That there is a there isn't there is a naggy. That's what it's there for, is to help me conserve energy uh, heavy. So once I've dedicated those mines, I do I've we, we we done we done A. Come over to C, throw a grenade on those ads, try and slide past this guy, take him out, don't crit him. You don't want to crit that incendiar, incendiar because the explosion can kill you. So just body him. And because you've got heavyweight on, you've got void, void syndrome, bodying is not going to be too, di- you know, you're, you're going to melt him. As long as you stay on the plate, it doesn't matter if there's one second left, which there was for me. As you can see, more heavy. It doesn't matter if there's one second. Being on the plate stops the timer. And by the looks of things you get, I, I, I failed to notice... But you guys can see it in the video. I think you get 60 seconds to defuse all of them. And there, there, there's there's confirmation. There's an army on that boss done 107,000. So it really will help with DPS. You want to make sure. The reason I hit him with a honed edge. I'm going to try and hit him with another one. And unfortunately I miss my crit. I know I do. Uh, so you want to go down to the boss with... Oh, I'd say half over over half your heavy ammo reserves. Now, as you can see, well, I hope you did see. I put a couple of shots on those elites because even though they're gonna die, I'm not gonna kill them because I've done damage to them. I will get credit for the kill, so I get the points, and that's what it's all about. So make sure you're fully reloaded. Hold the reload button in to auto to 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 activate. Uh, honed edge times four you'll need that at the boss and for anybody that wants to i mean it's a really bad design mechanism from this as an aggie's burden but you can actually reload straight back into the honed edge times four you've got to reload as soon as you get as soon as you fire and it's really quick you've got to be so that's how to that's how to to keep reloading just the one charged shot as you've got to be fast with the reload after you fire okay as a nag as a nag, does have 
uh, outlaw on it. But that's obviously that's for kills. So you've just got to be faster than than its auto reload. Okay. So what we're going to do is go down here. This is a little bit different, I think, because we're using the hammerhead. And the hammerhead won't melt them. I've got a boss spec on, so it's doing about as much damage as you can do here. If if I was probably a bit cleverer, I could have killed those ads with with the. In fact, I'll suggest that actually kill those ads with the hammerhead. Throw your Nova, Honed Edge, and then straight into this. Now, that's why I didn't do it. That must be why I didn't do it. Because I was going with Honed Edge first. Because as you can see, machine guns just don't melt bosses anymore. They just don't do it. So, once the ads start dropping, make sure you can shoot past them and just move away to the side. Keep hitting them, and you're good. We only moved because the ads were dropping down around us. That's why we moved. So move over to the side. I try and keep a pillar in, in, in between me and him to a degree. So that I do have a little bit of cover. And that's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As you, you guys should know by now, I, impre I appreciate your viewership more than you'll ever know. I'm, the, the volume of content will increase once, once uh, Opulence comes out. And I think I might have got over the fact that I, people don't really want to hear what I've got to say, so uh, that's why a couple of the videos never made it out, because I didn't think you guys wanted to hear them. But I'm over that now. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.